Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're looking at uh, Tribe by Larry Stroman. Okay, so this is pretty cool because I love Larry Stroman's art, and you just, I feel like there's not enough of it out there. Um, this is, I just did Shaman's Tears, and it's funny because uh, I feel like it's uh, around the same time, like this, what I call like the second wave of image comics when they start bringing in like other creators outside of the original seven founders, you know, established artists and big names to sort of do their own creator own books. And what a waste. I know this is a sign of the times, but it's like you've got Larry Stroman, who's an amazing artist. This is a comic book. And you have this crappy like black cover, which is like this, you know, logo here and it's gold embossed. I mean, seriously, gold embossing does not stand the test of time, but comic art most certainly does. I love Larry Stroman's art. He is so unique and so different. Um, uh, I believe he's, he did Alien Legion, among other things. And I first discovered his work on X Factor. And I just really enjoyed like his dynamic page layouts. And just he has a really great, interesting aesthetic. So this is written or story and dialogue by Todd Johnson story and art by Larry Stroman. So I'm assuming he's doing pencils and inks. Joe Chiodo is coloring, who's really good. I love his art, his coloring and his art in itself. This is a cool page, great cityscape there. Larry Stroman just um, has a really unique sort of uh, style, just great. I mean, it's uh, reminding me of Mike Magnola and the fact that he does a lot of blacks, a lot of heavy silhouettes. And to be able to pull that style off effectively, you have to know how to do it right. And he is doing it right, I'm telling you that. It's fun, I love this, because like, like the, all the lines here, very comic book arty. Lots of fun, like with different panel variation and the characters different panel angles and size, like popping in and out of the panels. Like he's a really cool artist. It's great because, you know, I experienced his art on X Factor and uh, when he did it with Peter David, although it wasn't super long his stay there, but it was super memorable. But as you can tell, well, you can't tell because I'm not holding up the X Factor right now, but um, artists usually are so much better and so uh, so much more aesthetically pleasing when they ink themselves and you can definitely see that in this art here not to say that there haven't been some great you know uh pencil or anchor teams because god knows there have i mean there's some amazing freaking anchors out there it's funny i remember really loving the art on this book and I don't really remember a lot of the story. I feel like this might have only lasted for like maybe three issues. Um, great double page spread there. Great double page spread there. They're all over the place. Very cool design. Love it. I love how he, I don't know, he just, uh, like a lot of things like that, how the doorway's kind of framing the character and just different things. Definitely a unique artist. If you're not familiar with uh, Larry Stroman's work, I highly suggest you seek it out. I don't know, there's just such like fun, like energy and sort of creepiness to this. And like I said, I just love his inking and it's such a great style. Anyway, so that's issue one. I don't have issue two. I don't know where it is, sorry about that but um, it'll give you the gist. I just love this cover and this design. Not crazy about the like effect here. Like I just feel like something like that just sort of stands out as kind of weird, but I'll forgive it. Axis Comics, that must've been Larry Stroman's imprint. Um, I would love to see this book come back or I don't know, maybe it has and I didn't know about it, but that's a great page there. Let's see. Uh, I don't think Joe Chiodo is coloring this one. It looks like it's somebody else, but that's fine. We still have Larry Stroman art and it's just looking killer. <laughs> I love that he's including a character with a non-traditional superheroine body type. 
<laughs> to put it tactfully, right? But it's fun. Just a lot of kinetic energy. I just really love Larry Stroman's work. I see his stuff on Facebook pop up here and there. And um, he's still got it. Come back to the five and dime, Larry Stroman. Let's see your art. Let's see more art from you. Of course, I would love to see all my favorite artists working on a monthly basis, but a lot of them are probably retired by now. It's a, it's a racket to keep up a monthly comic grind, I will tell you that much. It takes a lot of hard work, dedication, many hours. Oh my gosh, surprise. Uh, cameo from uh, Savage Dragon there. Back in the day, I guess Image sort of had this role that you could kind of use whatever characters you wanted. Um, just as long as you didn't screw them up too bad or something. But that is super cool. I know that diehard fans would say he got the fin wrong, but I chalk it up as a artistic license. I just think you can learn so much from an artist like Larry Stroman as far as like not being afraid to just use shadows in a very inventive way, spotting your blacks and the dynamic use of uh, negative space. So that was Larry Stroman's tribe. Very cool. I'll have to see if I have the other issues. But until then, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit like, share my content, and I'll bring you some more later. All right, thanks, guys.